All right, guys, we're pulling out. Watch out, we got some deer in the road. Are you able to drive that thing? Yep, I uh, it's, it's I love I love driving this. Here, you lead the way. You lead the way. What were we thinking? All right, Watch here out. we go. Yep, now I see traffic. There we go. So this is ladder one. We're going to take this down to a new fire station here. And we're just setting up the fire station. We had it pretty much set up besides for this big guy. And yeah, it's great because we're in like a dense city area. And so being in a dense city area, having this that can do Garrett, get off the sidewalk, man. That can maneuver really good. Uh, and you can have somebody back here like help steering and guiding and stuff. So this is great. This is what we need. See, I can, I can make these sharp corner. Well, I, we let's go. see. Yeah, you made it. This is a good test. Yeah, I didn't even hit the curb. Now the real trick is going to be getting it into the station. We'll see. We'll see. I, I, I feel pretty confident maneuvering it. And then like if we have a crazy fire. Okay, yeah. You know what? You're right, Garrett. Could have swung a bit wider. I always forget how tight this is. Yes, sir. All right, so probably bring that one around back. I'm thinking I'll move that ambulance out of the way and stuff so you can just drive through the longest part. Okay, 10-4. There you go. He's still yeah. coming no, in. No, I, I made the turn gear without hitting the yield sign, but I there still vote go. that we get rid of the yield sign. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. We have to have it there somehow. Here we go. I'll keep my lights on and let's not hit any poles. But yeah, this is great. This works really, really good. And I think we have one more. Are we bringing anything else down today, Garrett? I, yeah, we have one more fire truck. Just one. It's not anything crazy. Uh, we should be able to drive it down. No problem at all. See, look at how tight I can turn here. Look at this. The maneuverability is insane. Oh, that thing looks so big compared to everything else. Now, Gary, I don't know if that's the best stall for me to go into because there's not a good approach to get in. It's our longest stall. That's why I was thinking. I there. know, I know. And <laughs> I think you're right. I don't know if I'd fit in the other ones, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I got to work my magic here. Yeah, if you come in here and then we realize you would fit in another, then we'll definitely switch that up. Uh, it's just a tight corner to be straight. Oh, we got to stay straight. Come on. There we go. We're in. We're in. We're good. But yeah, now we're pulled up next to the other ladder truck. And as you guys can tell, this one's a bit longer. Yeah, let's see. Let, let's let's look at them. I like this one. It's got it's the Mac. Yeah, I think it's just a bit longer, Garrett. It looks good. I like the red. That looks a bit better. Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit longer, but we can get in a lot tighter spot. So perfect. What else we got to do, man? So yeah, we just have to grab the one other fire truck and then Did you uh we... did you dye your mustache? Oh, you noticed? Yeah, it looks a lot blacker. We're starting to get some gray hairs. Yeah, man. I was thinking, I was like, I gotta look fresh, because sometimes like the media is coming to our calls and I, I want them to appreciate all the work I did to keep that thing in line. For sure, for sure. No, it looks awesome. I wish I could grow one out, man. And so this is our new John Deere Gator with all yes, the sir. fixings on it. Yeah, so much better than the other one. Okay, where do you want to probably in the back? Yeah, kind of anywhere where it's just as long as it's not in the way of stuff, then we should be good. Yeah, we got a stretcher on it. We got like, what is that? An 80 gallon water tank with a hose and stuff. So that's nice if we ever do in spot fires or like a fire spreading in the forest. This is probably, here, I'll put it behind the ladder truck. This is probably the best to take out. So many fire trucks in here and we still have the one final one to bring. There we go. We'll park it right here. That way it's out of the way. Perfect. Yeah, we don't need that too often. It's never like a big emergency. It's more just we use it for like different events and stuff like that. Sure, for sure. Okay, uh, let's go get the last one. And then we're, we're going to be this is going to be our first day on or my first day at the station working doing a shift. So if we get a call for a fire, we're heading out and we got to get suited and booted. And this is the last, hopefully, well, I always would like more, but I think this is the last fire truck we're bringing in station, last piece of equipment, engine one. It's a bit older school, but hey, it works in the city. It's a bit smaller. We can get it in tight areas. And I always think it looks awesome. It's, I, I don't know what year these are from. Some people are going to know better than I, than I do. But I mean, just looking at the wheels and the rims and everything, you can tell it's quite a bit older. All right, Gary, I'm pulling in, man. Where do you want me to go? All right. Awesome. I'm just getting changed. Uh, I'd say, oh, actually, that's tricky. Where should you go? Probably just behind the big ladder. Okay. Wait, are we getting a call? Why are you changing? Well, we don't have a call yet, but we have reports that there is some cave incident going on and they might need us there. So I'm just kind of getting ready for it. Oh, okay. Okay. It, it, is it code one or three, two? We haven't been told to go there yet. It will probably be a code two. So we'll go with lights, but no sirens. Okay. Let's make our way there. Okay. Sounds well, like someone's just been lost for a while and just, I don't know. 10-4. I'll get suited up, man. Oh, no, guys. We're getting the call. Let's go. Let's go, Garrett. I'll Here take we go. the ambulance. Here we go. I'm shutting off the alarm. Let's get going. Ten I'm taking four. the rescue truck. 
has it been upgraded to uh code three yeah man it is it is it's been 24 hours now since the person's been lost and we need to try again them right away they might be injured we aren't quite sure to go in the wrong direction oh come on garrett here fire truck leads the way man i'll be right behind you all right should be over here so again keep your eye out for everything because this is going to be really rough train keep an eye on me i'll be keeping an eye on you and four we always have to be careful in these cave calls we don't want to become the one needing rescuing that's right and garrett's bringing the heavy rescue truck which is exactly why we have it for situations like these there's all our rope gear all our like climbing gear and just like a crazy amount of gear in there so way more than like a normal fire truck and like oxen more oxygen mass and like yeah so it's gonna work great but hopefully obviously nobody's in there and and he's just uh lost or something somewhere else all right Gary, it's right here on our right man yep i see it there's Here's the entrance there's no good way to get in especially with our vehicles you gotta like park way down then walk in so all right get some gear let's get moving man all right here we go i'm gonna get my helmet on yeah there's a fire but in case anything collapses yeah put your helmet on i'm gonna get scoping things out what what's the guy's name his name is richard richard yo rich anybody in here richard okay we're gonna we're gonna i've, I've done this i haven't been here in a few years okay nice you got your helmet on we're probably yeah. gonna have to get wet because it rained quite a bit here recently so we're getting right. in there man come let's on let's go swimming here we go all right not too bad Looks right. like we have some water coming from up top. Heck yeah, Richard, anybody in here? Get your flashlight on. Yep, here, step on the, it's gonna get really slick. Careful, all the moss and algae that's going on these rocks, just take the ladders here. Okay, yeah, I see so much water coming down. Richard, fire department, call out. Come on, Richard, we're here, we're looking for you. Let's see, maybe up here, what's going on? Uh Oh, okay, it looks like someone's been here. Okay oh yeah yeah well i mean a lot not that many people come here because they're afraid of caves and i know you're afraid of you know tight orders you know that's nothing it blocks off i haven't seen that before though okay keep yeah, coming okay, so keep an eye out though for like little areas look like here's that, a cause... like a gas tank or a water water jug or something i hope it's not used for both of those yeah yeah you, you wouldn't want to flip here's another one okay uh yeah we're gonna get wet again garrett come on yep jump on the stones here we go Okay, nothing back there. Go slow. Let's make sure we don't leave any anything like behind or anything. Yeah. Oh, something's under here. Oh, do we have to go swimming? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Let's see, Richard. You in here, man? Let's go. Come Richard, on, Richard. Okay, out. we're actually climbing back up here. The fire department's here. We're looking for you. Oh man, this is hard to get up. How did you do that? Man, okay, you just gotta go do it. This way. Here we go. Okay, Richard. Where is he? And how long has he been gone? Do you know? Uh, we know it's been 24 hours at least since he's how been last longer? seen okay yeah how much longer than that we aren't sure but we called in 24 hours ago the police were notified and they just told the family just to wait it out for a bit long in case he comes home you know sometimes people get a hotel yeah, or something absolutely and they, he was just last seen here that's all they know yeah yep so here's some kind of exit there's no way we passed him in there is there yeah no richard okay uh yeah we never Should saw him in there maybe check like a, up top on the rocks yeah or let's walk around a bit here and there there might be another cave i'm missing like maybe they discovered cave i haven't been here in a few years like i said yeah these are tough rocks man yep that keep your harness on keep everything am i correct in that they left it that the he he told them they were going here nobody saw him here Nobody reported him here, but he said he was going to the to the caves. Yeah, he left like some notes before he left about this is where he's going every time. Apparently, he does that in case okay. he gets lost or anything. Then family knows like they're completely used to him taking a bit longer sometimes, but not yep. this long. So that's why we got called in. Yeah, and we made it through there pretty pretty easy. Usually, you know what? I actually thought it was gonna be quite a bit worse. Like sometimes you have to hold your breath for that water part and go underneath, but it didn't rain as much as I thought. We had flashlights. If your flashlight dies, I'd be lost in there right away. Yeah, for sure. And, but I mean, we went through it. We were thorough. We checked every corner. Maybe we'll just kind of put some notes at the two exits that we saw, like the entrance and exit, and then tell him just to give the department a call if he sees it. Like I yep. doubt we passed him, but who knows? Maybe he like left the cave and he's going back and. He could be doing so many different things right yeah. now. Yeah, leave some of those notes, and yeah, that's too bad. We wish we could have found him, but 
who knows he i'm sure he's not even here we're gonna cruise back to the station hopefully a call comes in here shortly that they found him he made it back home or you know somebody's identified him so that should be good well i've been on a break for about 30 minutes reading a book garrett just texted me he says he's coming up he says he's got good news so that's good to hear there's garrett garrett what's up man good news and more good news what do you want first good news okay good because there's only one piece of news they found the guy nice where was he yeah he's all safe he just showed up at home uh i guess he went out a bit longer than they thought he was going to and we must have like just passed by him probably when we were pulling in he was pulling out from there so Dang. yeah but he's all good he's safe uh family's so happy that that they got him back and so he slept there overnight or something or how did that yeah. work yeah so those chairs we saw he slept in one of those oh really wow yeah yeah so he he said that those were already there uh, that's why he like left them and stuff but gotcha. yeah no he's found he's safe he's good we did our job and it ended up with a great result so good work man couldn't have done it without you heck yeah man and you too well guys hopefully you enjoyed today's episode we brought in some new fire trucks some new equipment i love the the gator the six past six and then we actually got on a call so Pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yee -yee.